Hi, my name is Erica Bruce and I'm the Graduate Program Director for the Department of Environmental Science here at Baylor. Uh, our department is one of the most dynamic departments um, on campus and we have research and activities going on uh, in our department that are unique uh, to graduate programs across the U.S. And we hope that our students will uh, feel a sense of community here and that we can be a part of their learning and their growing into the experts that they're striving to be in graduate school. What attracted me to Baylor's program in environmental science is that it is, has a reputation for being at the forefront or the leading edge in environmental research. It's always producing high impact research. Um, it's also at the forefront of an interdisciplinary research. It's involved in ecology, toxicology, immunology, uh, molecular biology, biochemistry. So it's always involved in lots of important, high impact, engaging research, which I found would be you know, beneficial to me as an aspiring scientist. I think the most unique aspect is how much I've been exposed to here, particularly in this lab. We focus on very diverse um, topics, so I've been exposed to not only my research, but other concepts and ideas. What brought me here to Baylor was really the interdisciplinary nature of this department. You get exposed to ideas and concepts that I feel I wouldn't have been exposed to at any other place. We do engage with other departments, especially those from geology and chemistry and biology. Me, for instance, I'm in biomedical studies, so I do my research in the environmental science department, but I'm also engaged with other students in biology and in the biomedical studies. So it is a pretty intense academic and research environment, but we also try to form a sense of community where students can know one another and do things together. Graduate school in and of itself is a unique beast, to call it that, but because we're all very similar in the same boat, I think you, you develop great friendships and relationships. So we have professional societies, right, that you can join if you're interested in um, pursuing a more networking, professional development, but there's also people in the department who will room together, right, because they're so tight-knit. And there's also the opportunity to um, venture out into other departments and they have clubs essentially, right? And so graduate students and undergrads are involved where you get to present your PhD research to um, the community or you get to hang out depending on your interests. So our department offers some unique opportunities for students. So if, if they're trying to uh, decide between Baylor and another university, there's really a few things that I think sort of seal the deal for Baylor. One of those is just the Baylor community. It's it's very different, the atmosphere on campus is very different um, than, than other universities. So you really feel that sense of community here. Within the graduate school itself, I think it's even a tighter knit community. It's a small department, so you really, I think you get to know people better than um, in larger departments, which is a plus for our program, because you don't want, well, I would prefer a smaller department where I have better interpersonal relationships with the people I see every day than a larger department where I don't feel connected. I think one of the really attractive things about the program is that it's at an excellent spot right now where uh, the program is growing and gaining a lot more prominence and you can see that with the amount of research that's being published, with the amount of citations, within the quality of research that's being, the funding that is uh, attained by the different labs and even the number of graduate students. So the program is obviously growing a lot, of, a lot of promise, but it is not yet so enormous that there are, you know, in some big programs there are some problems that arise from the fact that there isn't much direct contact with your PI or there's more layers of bureaucracy or your work, you have a little bit less flexibility. And so Baylor is a, at a great spot where there's a balance of it being a, a, a good sized program that's growing and becoming more prominent, but also having that closer interaction with your PI and your professors and your committee. Uh, you know, you don't have to wait months to see any of them. Uh, so I think that's, that's a really unique place uh, for any science program to be in. And so what you have is a combination of committed, very research active faculty that care about their students, uh, their successes, their outcomes. And we have fantastic support from the university as evidence through uh, really incredible facilities, 
cutting edge instrumentation. It's well maintained, so there's really not many of these dog ate the homework moments. The other thing that I think is um, really unique to our program is that our graduate faculty are very involved in um, mentoring those graduate students. And um, when you set up a, com a committee in our department, um, those professors have an invested interest in their success. So they're very engaging with, with those students and meeting with them often and bringing um, their expertise really to, their, to the, those students' programs. And I think that provides them with some, some skill sets and some, some mentoring that they probably wouldn't get in other programs. Graduate students in environmental science are primarily funded through three mechanisms either as teaching assistants, as a research assistants on externally funded projects, or through uh, federal fellowships. The, the goal of the department here is to have every student fully funded. So uh, you receive a tuition waiver, which waives your entire tuition. You receive assistantship, uh, teaching or research assistantships. There's also uh, a huge portion, up to 80% of your insurance is paid by the department. Uh, and then add on that all the scholarships, the stipend enhancements that if, if you apply and you have a good uh, GRE score and you have a good application, you get stipend enhancements of up to $6,000 a year. Thank you for your interest in our department. We hope that you found this information useful. And if we can provide you more information, feel free to reach out to us through our webpage uh, or uh, by email to any of our uh, professors in the department, we're happy to respond and provide any additional information that we can.